Hey guys, so before this video starts, I need to say two things. The first thing is that even though I set everything up like normal, something must have happened with my equipment when I recorded this because my computer decided to use its own internal microphone to record the audio. So it's kind of shit, but it's audible and clear enough to where I don't think it's a big deal. It just kind of sucks. But I still wanted to put this video out just because I spent a lot of time recording it. So yeah, I tried to amplify it and fix it up as best I can to make it as best quality as I can, but there's only so much I can do. The other thing is that normally I am not someone who likes to get involved with anything media politic related whatsoever, but I wanted to just put something out there because I do have a platform that has grown quite a bit very recently and I may as well because I feel like I should. But considering what happened to another certain mad scientist loving YouTuber on this uh, beautiful website, honestly I'm not really that scared because I'm a channel with only 3k subs and I don't monetize my videos so YouTube doesn't have any reason to care about me since I don't give it money. But just to be on the safe side, don't go to any website. Don't give any website your money. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Don't donate to a cause. And don't, you know, support a cause. Because what's a cause? Cause is two letters away from B cause. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, enjoy the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hollow Knight. Get out of here, it's spooky. Well, actually, no, I kind of want you. I want to get my real cup. In the last episode of Hollow Knight, I finally defeated the Pantheon of the Sage, and oof, was it a doozy. But now, another challenge ap appears Pantheon of the Night. Let's just jump right into that. I don't really know if I need. I mean,. Do I need a different, a different charm build? I mean, maybe. I'll, it depends on what's in here. I, I picked the... I, at one point, I switched to using this from something else because um, I saw that, uh, you know, I kept getting hit by things that Thorns of Agony could help me kill. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to be going with this simple, like... I feel like this is a base setup that just works for most situations, you know? You have good nail, good spell, Good healing, good soul gathering, and then a failsafe for when you get hit to get some extra damage in. Yeah. So let's begin. This is gonna suck. Oh gods of Hellenist, graciously the open the way to this greatest of pantheons. Thy voices grow closer, and they re and they resonance. Thy resonance draws us even higher. Pray will we, attune will we, until that spark of divine light shines from the deepest darkness. Crystal Guard and Rage Guardian. Ah, oh, this is the version that. Ugh, oh, this is the version I hate. But I feel like I've fought him enough to where I have a little bit of an edge. I don't even remember his body dealing double damage to you. Fuck. That's actually the worst part of this. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Th I, yeah, did his body always deal double damage? I feel like it didn't. It was only the lasers. Alright, let's try that again. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh cool, they give you a lot of time to heal after too. Yeah, that fight isn't actually that bad, it's just stressful. Oh! Okay, lost kin. Ow. Ow, okay. It's been a while since I fought you. Okay, this is a dream version, which I believe the only difference being is just that his attack patterns are a bit harder and those balloons spawn constantly. And you have to stay on top of them, or else they'll overwhelm you. Thorns of Agony helps, but it'd be better if I had, uh, the stinky, stinky charm. Ow, fuck. 
Okay, shit. Wait, does Fragile Heart break here? Because technically this is a dream world we're in. I'm gonna say it doesn't, and just roll with it. Let's just see. If it does, I mean, realistically, I can just exit and go get it fixed. Pretty easily, right? I don't think your progress in this place is erased if you exit and come back. Oh! Okay, those crystals on the walls actually hurt you! That's bad! Oh, he read me like a book. Oh god. He attacks so much faster, ah. Looks like I basically have a shield for these guys. Ah. Woo! There we go. Okay. Who's up next? No, oh, I... This is a really weird fight to determine if, when, you, when you're asking, like, how hard is it? It's really weird. It's hard to tell how hard this fight is, because on one hand, as long as you're just paying attention to all the things floating around, it's not hard at all. It can be kind of annoying when he keeps just running away. And it definitely takes a long time. It's a long fight. Oh, jukes! Hey, check that out. Never mind what I said. Oh! Okay. Ow! Stop! Okay. Oh! Trailer! Trailer! Hello! Ah! I gotta remember your patterns. You're mostly... You mostly just behave like the Mantis Trader enemy, but you have like that attack that I have to dash through, but be careful with my dash, because I don't know when you'll do it. Ow! And you deal double damage, right. Oh, and you have those, right. Alright, you're not a huge deal. Unless that happens! You shouldn't be able to use two in a row, that fucking sucks. Oh! Whew, okay. Not that hard. But... If he does those multiple times, then it does kind of suck. Wow, a lot of heal time to get off. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey! It's the White Defender, okay! Whoa! Immediate wacko. It's been a while since I have fought you. Like two years. Fuck! I thought I could activate the events really quick sooner. <laughs> oh, my nail swipe was my downfall. Ow, I forgot. You're not entirely invincible to the balloons. Just around you and behind you is free, but if you're running forwards, the smell has to catch up to you. Ow. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop! Alright, cool. He cornered me. Woo! There we go! Okay. I replayed my memories of fighting him many times. Using oh, we're already at the pool. Huh. Okay. Guess there's not as many fights in this, because each one is a lot harder. Again, I have heard and seen a brief, one brief screenshot of final boss of this game. Shit, Lord. And, oh, it's the failed champion. Oh, no. Those who have been watching this series for the first while know what I think about this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's so fast and huge. Oh my fucking god. No, ah. Uh, oh my god. Alright. I don't know if I'm beating this today or ever. If that guy is involved. 
I don't know, I'm gonna try this, and if this doesn't work, then maybe I'll switch out these two for uh, strength. I might do that. Oof, that was involved. That would be a cool thing, like, if you made some sort of fighting game or beat em up game that's themed around poetry. And, like, you know, like in those kind of games where when you hit someone, it's like, whoa! It's like, you, like your combo or your how you're strong your hit is, the game will put up a message of, like, cool, strong, powerful, radical, you know, all that shit. Just <laughs> symbolic! <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that. I feel like that'd be really funny. It's a really funny screen. Wait. Star Wars Shell is definitely making up for Thorns of Agony in a big way, though. Okay, so being able to dash farther will help in this fight with how huge he is, and also being able to have more invincibility frames will help because, um. Because, you know. He attacks so fast and frequently. Ah! Okay. I thought he was gonna dash at me. Ugh. Oh! Okay, let's not jump away from things. Let's just try to dash under. Okay! Alright, yeah. Just. Watch his animations dash under him in a lot of places, and then dash, jump and dash away if you see him really back. Ah, oh, not you. Okay, Jesus Christ, that fight is really tense. There is stalemate. Oh, no! No! Alright, just get close, stay close to them, make them do melee attacks. Ow! Okay, don't let that happen. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What did he get hit? Did he get hit by a rock from the sky? I don't understand how that happened. I thought he was going into his spin move, but he was. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, when you're far enough for, away from them, they don't roll. They just walk at you if you're if they're like off screen. That's good to know. It's also really good as just as helpful strategy. Try to make sure that they're always going in the same direction whenever they attack. The more in sync they are, the easier they are to deal with. Like, even if, like, one is rolling straight, one is bouncing, still, it's easier if they're just both attacking at the same time and moving in the same direction. I should have been healing. But, oh my god, okay. Hey, buddy! Oh, Tyrant. Hey, what's up? Whoa. Okay, I didn't need to do that spell, whoops, whatever. It's okay. So I have plenty of health. I lost soul, plenty of health. Oh, final boss already, okay. Show reverence, O oh meager one. Show fear, thou approachest the great and terrible god. Though its worldly, worldly body be bound in file the glory of its pure form endures ruler of this pantheon its endless endless power shall attune us uh the one greater still a god of gods meager one dost thou imagine thy thyself the equal of this god dost thou imagine thyself made in its image thou assume a similar shape the shape echo within the, the seems familiar ah what thoughts are these Thus, uh, blasphemies in our mind, right? Be gone. We pray to the gods and the Okay. I'm going to lose, because this is my first time fighting this thing, and there's a good chance that I'm just going to end the video after that, and then in the next episode, I'll work on beating him. All throughout that, I'd say the hardest ones up to this point have been, um, Traitor Lord, not Traitor Lord, uh, Traitor Lord can be tricky, but, um, mainly False Champion and, um, Failed champ. Only 
Failed Champion and Markov, I'd say, are the most dangerous ones. Um, that really give me trouble. Soul, Soul Tyrant is honestly the easiest. Dealing double damage, I didn't realize that. Damn. Yeah, okay, that went really quick. I'm gonna try to fight him again in the Hall of Gods, just as practice. So I'm gonna need practice, like I did need practice for Sly. Mighty God of Nothingness. <laughs> Alright. One sparring battle, and then in the next episode, we will actually beat this. I honestly, honestly like Kimmy's just like, fuck the armor. Like, the armor has been teased in the trail. Oh! Whoa! Okay, you can't dash away from that counter. Oh, fuck. Be the pantheon. God damn. Now, this game has like three final bosses him, Grim, and Radiance. Speaking of which, I'm surprised that Radiance isn't here. Maybe you like pass it, it, it through there once you beat the final pantheon, then you get more bosses that you can fight in here, because Radiance is not in here. Well, guys, that was me attempting the pantheon of the night. I'm clearly going to need more practice. I'm going to be doing practice fights against him off camera, I think. I mean, I think there might be like maybe some stuff I should react to, so maybe I'll like record the the practice what goes and, you know, just in case anything happens that I should react to. But yeah. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode when we beat this fucker. See you then. Bye-bye.